Good morning, good morning. We've got Monday's lunch here. Happy Monday. I went over the weekend and picked him out a new cup. If you watched last week's video, we were having issues with the cup that we had. So I got this one. This is one of the ones that's my recommended, I think on Instagram, because it has a lock. So we're gonna give this one a try and hopefully it doesn't leak. But he's got some animal crackers. He's got some grapes, a half of a cutie, and then just a peanut butter sandwich and a few Oreos for a sweet treat. Super easy lunch this morning. He's got a short week this week because Thursday and Friday is fall break. So y'all are only gonna see three school lunches, but I am gonna add in a few after school snacks that I've been filming over the past month or so. So you'll still get a full video of lunch inspiration. Good morning, good morning, happy Tuesday guys. Here is his lunch for today. Last night we had chicken quesadillas and cheese and chips. So I did kind of a DIY Lunchable for him today with some of the cheese dip and the chips that were left over. So he's got a few chips here. He's got some black olives, which is his favorite. He has some of the cheese dip. And then I've got some a few apple slices back here. I just cut those up and soaked them in some apple juice and it really helps them not turn brown and he really enjoys them that way. If you have kiddos that are super picky about like it looking nasty, definitely try juice. And the issue with, for us, with the water, with the lemon water is he didn't like the taste of the apples. It makes them really bitter. So if you use juice, you can use apple juice, orange juice, pineapple juice, whatever juice you want, then um, you don't get that bitter taste from the lemon water. So try juice if you've never tried it before. Maybe your kiddos will like it. Got a few mini Oreos in the middle. And then I've got some almond milk for him to drink, plus his thermos of water for his room. This did really good yesterday. He kept it locked, didn't leak at all out of the bottom, nothing. My only issue is fitting it in his lunchbox with this handle. This is my only issue here, <laughs> it's trying, because it's so long, uh, trying to get that to fit in his lunchbox. So I honestly, I think I'm gonna have Luke cut it off and maybe try to like melt down the edges where it's kind of smooth, where it's not like gonna you know, poke through anything but he doesn't really need this. So I'm gonna try and see if I can get Luke to do that because it's hard for it to fit in his lunchbox with this and it's sealed um, with this little handle thingy. So we'll try that, but all in all so far, this cup, we haven't had any issues with it. Um, that's I was excited to finally find one that had a lock on it so that way, you know, it shouldn't leak at all. <laughs> I'll give y'all an update maybe in a couple months or so.
good morning good morning happy wednesday today is his last school lunch for the week he's got fall break for the rest of the week thursday and friday so i've got some spaghettios he normally likes these so i got packed him some of those he didn't really eat them very well when i had them uh, warm in the thermos so i'm gonna try them just in here and see if he does any better um, I feel like the issue with packing stuff in the thermos and like having different containers is he can't just sit down, open one box and see the variety that he has and just eat on it. Instead, he's trying to worry about opening up several containers, having, you know, trying to pick and choose what he wants. And that's one thing I love about the Bent Go box is that it has, it's all in one. You have different compartments. You can give a variety for your child and they can just sit down, open it and eat that variety. So I'm gonna, as you noticed last week, I didn't pack any hot lunches last week. And then this week I haven't packed any hot lunches. I'm gonna try to focus on just doing the Bent Go box because the past two weeks he has been eating way better without doing hot lunches. So we're gonna give this a try. So far it's been going good. <laughs> so he's got some spaghettios. He has um, a few apple slices. He's got some of the cinnamon roll lactose free yogurt with some sprinkles. Got some veggie chips. And then in the center, we're all out of Oreos. So I just put some Mott's gummies. He's got apple juice to drink and he has his water for his room. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed these lunches for the week. Like I said at the beginning, since we are only having a short week, I will be adding in a few snack after school snack ideas. So I hope you guys enjoy those next. So for today's after school snack, we're gonna do some apple nachos. So I've got a few apples here. I cut the peels off so they're easier to eat. I have heated up some peanut butter to make it easy to spread on them. So I'm gonna put the peanut butter on there. And then I've also got some of this chocolate Hershey shell. I'm gonna drizzle some of that on there. Also, you can do chocolate chips, but I don't have any chocolate chips. So we're just gonna go in with these two and it's a nice after school snack. And that is it y'all. I really hope you enjoyed today's school lunch video. Even though it was a short week, it was still a super easy and delicious one. I hope you enjoyed these lunches and these snack ideas and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye guys.